quarantine portraits was an improvised response to the exceptional circumstances that we found ourselves in this year. Normally, when I'm painting someone's portrait, I get to meet them first in person. My portrait practice is based on a technique known as sight size, which means painting from life your picture adjacent to the sitter. This adjacency enables you to stand back and make quick and easy comparisons. It's kind of like playing spot the difference and then correcting those differences. However, unable to meet in person, I had to use video conferencing to recreate this setup. On my screen, I lined up a video conference window with the sitter with a live video feed from a webcam positioned behind me pointing at the work in progress. This way, I could make quick and easy comparisons back and forth on the screen, one video feed to another. Each session lasted 60 to 90 minutes, the sitter watching the webcam feed of the portrait coming to life. And because I was online with a responsive sitter, not just a digital photograph, I was able to make adaptations in pose, setting, lighting, camera angle, etc. as we went. The other complicating factor was the unavailability of materials. I needed surfaces to paint on, and normally I would walk down the road to the lumber store and have some panels cut. However, with everything shut, I would have to make do with what I had. So instead, I found an old sketchbook, which several years ago I'd used up some spilled ink on. Here's a page from that sketchbook where you can see I've used the spilled ink to practice mark making, a little bit of calligraphy here and there, and in general just to create an interesting background texture to work on top of at a later date. And that date arrived. I treated each page of this sketchbook with some acrylic varnish which protected it from the damaging effects of the oil. And as soon as it was dry, I applied oil paint directly to it, and in some cases oil pastel, where colours were particularly hard to get. For example, the sky in the background of Alice's painting. So this setup is an evolution of an old master technique, using webcams and pastels. <laughs>